Welcome to another episode of Practice Makes You Better. In this episode, I'm going to be tackling road and traffic signs, which is one of the bigger sections. I'm going to be using my app of choice, Driving Test Success. It's the app that I use in the classroom that I have the most success with, with my students. I'm going to be doing a 30 question mock test where I break it down, giving you hints, tips and tricks, showing you how to work out the answers and giving you visual clues along the way. There should be lots of visual clues considering it's road and traffic signs. If you struggle with road and traffic signs, this video is for you. So let's jump onto my iPad and waste no more time. So first question, what does this sign mean? If you're using the app, the driving test success, you can enlarge the image. It's a tram and it's got only underneath. What I always say is read the question, look at the image, because sometimes you can get some clues from there and then go for the answers. Don't glance at the image, look, take in information and then go to your answers. So route for trams. It's got a picture of a tram and it's got only, so that's a possible. Give way to buses, it's got no picture of a bus. Route, route for buses, no, and give way to trams. It's got only on there, so it can't be that. So it's the first one that we ticked. Which arm signal tells, tells you that the car you're following is going to pull up? Right, so the, this one is turning left. That one doesn't exist. I just call it the hokey cokey in, out, shake it all about. This one is slowing down. So the question, if you read it, which arm signal tells you that the car you're following is going to pull up on the left? To pull up on the left, you've got to be slowing down. That's the slowing down signal. This one is turning right. So you have to be slowing down to park up on the left. So it's going to be that one. How should the right hand lane of a three lane motorway be used? Now be very careful with this. Read the question carefully. I'm going to read it again. How should the right-hand lane of a three-lane motorway be used? They can ask you the same question, but it's a dual carriageway. In this case, it's a motorway. It's just for overtaking. If it's a dual carriageway, it's for overtaking and turning right. So like I said, in this one, we're just looking for overtaking. And as an acceleration lane, no. As an overtaking lane, yes. As a right, as a right turn lane, no as a high speed lane, no. What does this sign mean? Again, look at the image. The key one there is the red circle with the diagonal line, that's key. The other bits and pieces are almost like red herrings, but that's the key one. Um, right, end of urban clayway restrictions, no. No parking at all from Monday to Friday. You can park, but after 9.30 and before 4.30, and again after 6.30 p.m. You can park on the days and times shown. You can't park on those days and times. No parking on the days and times shown. So it's no parking on the times that you see in the sign. That's a diversion marker. Um, they can show you different colors, different shapes, um, circles, squares, same yellow and black, but it's a diversion marker. If you don't know what a diversion marker is, it's when the road's closed up, they put a color and shape and you just follow it and you get back on track. No sat nav needed to find your way. A pedestrian zone, no. A diversion route, yes. A cycle route, no. A picnic area, no. What does this line across the road at the entrance to a roundabout? Now, it's a single line and the key word in the question is roundabout. What do you do at roundabouts? For those of you taking driving lessons, you give way to the right. So that's what the line means. Stop at the, the line. If it was a stop line, it would be solid. You have the right of way. No, you don't. Nobody has right of way. You have, may have priority in certain situations, but you don't have priority at this or right of way at this situation. Give way to traffic from the right. That's the roundabout rule. Traffic from the left has right of way. Again, it's got right of way. I'll just repeat that. Nobody has right of way, but you have priority in certain situations. What does this sign mean? And if you didn't know, triangles are warning. That's a, supposed to be a snowflake. So let's look for something along those lines. Six roads converge, no. Multi-exit roundabout, no risk of ice. That's what happens with snow. When it freezes over, it turns to ice, so there's a possible risk. And place of historical interest, no. What, what message are given by a circular traffic sign that have a blue background? Now, again, if you didn't know, blue circles are mandatory. It used to be positive instructions 
all instructions. They've now phased that out of the theory test. It's now all 100% mandatory that, that they go for. If you're definitely using the apps, it will be mandatory in there. So we're looking for something along those lines. They give mandatory instructions, first one out. They give temporary directions during the diversion, no. They give directions to a car park, no. They give motorway information, no. Motorway information is normally a square, sorry, a blue rectangle, or maybe a blue square, but mainly blue rectangles for motorway information. What shape is a stop sign? A stop sign is octagon, um, and it's only shaped like in the highway code. The reason for that is when it's covered in ice and snow or bad weather, the shape is always going to be there. So it's an octagon shape, which is the bottom right one. Which sign means you have priority over oncoming vehicles? As I said before, not right away, got priority. Now with signs and images, you've got to imagine that you're going from bottom to top. Always imagine that when you look at signs and images, you're at the bottom and you're going up. So the question, let me just break it down again, which sign means you have priority over oncoming vehicles? So if you look at this one, it's the big arrow, you're going up with the big white arrow, the red arrow is smaller, so it means you have priority in that situation. Just bear in mind that on a real driving lesson or driving test, you've got L plates on the car coming down may not give you that priority, so just bear that in mind for real driving, but for the theory test, that's what it's gonna be. What does this sign mean? I just mentioned um, most blue rectangles or squares. Um, they made it a square for the app more than anything else, but it's normally a rectangle. Um, it's crossed out. This is a motorway sign and it's crossed out, so it means end of motorway. No through road, end of motorway. No motor vehicles, end of bus lane. How can you identify traffic signs that give orders? Now, signs that give orders are red circles. So 95% of red circles, I will also add, are no's. But sign that gives orders are red circles. So they're rectangular with a yellow border, no. They're circular with a red border, yes. They're triangular with a blue border, no. They're square with a brown border, no. What does this sign mean? Again, enlarge it, take information. That technically, if that wasn't its own, the, the circle with the diagonal line going into it, that would be red blue background and the red diagonal line and that's your um, waiting restrictions now if you look at it at the bottom it's got zone ends that's why I said look at the image you've got little clues there's zone ends and you've got a wait restriction sign above but in black and white form so end of restricted speed area in the classroom that's the common answer but there's no speed it doesn't say what the speed was or what the speed's going to be so it can't be that end of cycle route there's no picture of a cycle in it end of clearway um, no, and end of restricted parking area. So like I said, the top image, the circle, is a restriction of parking. So that's the one you're looking for. What shape are traffic signs giving orders? Now we just had that question, but in word form, about two questions back, what sign gives you orders? They gave you words. Now they're giving you images. And that's why I say understand the question, understand the answers. It doesn't make a difference how they spin it, you're gonna know. And from the previous answer, it was a red circle. At traffic lights, what does it mean when the amber light shows on its own? So let me just read that again. At traffic lights, what does it mean when the amber light shows on its own? Right, so it's a traffic light, not a pelican, it's a traffic light. So again, from bottom to top, I have done a video on that and I'll leave the card up here somewhere so you can get direct access. So again, looking at the traffic lights from bottom to top, so it's green, amber, red, red and amber together, then it goes back to green. So the question, what does it mean when amber's on its own? Amber means stop. So green is go when it's safe to do so. Amber means stop at the line. Red means stop. Red and ambers get ready. And then obviously it goes back to green, which is go when it's safe to do so. So we're looking for something along the lines of stopping, definitely. It normally gives you the option of stopping behind the line. Um, right, so prepare to go, no. Give, go if the way is clear, no. Stop at the stop line, yes. Go if no pedestrians are crossing, no. What does this sign mean? I mentioned earlier on, red circles are no's. 95% of red circles are no's. And if you struggle with your questions, again, highlight that one. If you struggle with your road signs when it comes to red circles, do not panic, do not stress, do not freak out. That's what so much of you do in a real test. You just panic, ah, don't. 
what you're gonna do, stay calm, breathe, and then you go to your four options that always give you two with no's. And the two no's are totally opposite to what the circle is. It becomes very easy after that, which I'm gonna show you on that. Like I said, I'll give you hints, tips, tricks along the way. So first and foremost, 95% of red circles are no's. You go to your four options if you didn't know what this meant, and I select the two with no's. Let's do that. So motorcycles only, no motorcycles, no cars, cars only. So the top and bottom one we can get rid of. So again, look at the image. Go back to the two answers we've, we've reduced it to. No motorcycle, that's a picture of a motorcycle, so it's got to be about what, and the other one's no cars. And that's how you work it out. Never freak out on your driving test. Work out logically, but you can only do that if you stay calm. <laughs> Let's read that again. You're waiting at a T-junction, not turning yet. You're waiting at a T-junction. What should you do if a vehicle is coming from the right if it's left indicator flashing? Again, just highlight so you're the purple car and the green car technically what you should be doing is waiting um because if you pull if that signal was too early you're pulling that he's going to crash into you so you should really wait for a car to commit to his turn before coming out move out slowly no move out and accelerate hard no pull out before the vehicle reaches the junction no wait until the vehicle starts to turn in and that's the safest option what does this sign mean? That's a T-junction, again, going from bottom to top, so technically you're on the main road, the fat part of the um, arrow, and then two little bits at the sides are your cross, uh, the side roads, that's your crossroads. So, level crossing with gate, no. Head only, no. Crossroads, yes. Level crossing without gate, no. What does this motorway sign mean? Now, if it's got flashing amber and it's got a speed limit, first and foremost, it's 15 miles now. It's temporary and it's advising you to do 50. You should still be doing that, but it's advising and it's temporary when it's flashing amber. So we're looking for something along those lines. Temporary maximum speed, 50 miles an hour. Take that. Obstruction, 50 meters, no. No service, 50 miles, no. Temporary minimum speed, no. What does this sign mean? Again, highlight it. It's crossed out. Remember, 95% of red circles are no, so that's definitely a no, and the arrow's facing to the right, so we're looking for no right turn. No traffic from the right. Bend to the right, no right turn. Road on the right, on the right's closed. What does this sign mean? Highlight the sign. Triangles are warning, vast warning you of windy conditions. That's what that means. Adverse camber, no. Airport, no. Road noise, no. Side winds, yes. What should you do when you see this sign at a crossroads? So it's a sign of traffic lights. The lights is crossed out, which means it's not working. So find another route, no. Carry on with great care, yes. Because everybody's going at the same time because there's no traffic lights. Telephone for police, no. Maintain the same speed, again, no. What should you do when you see this sign as you travel along the motorway? Now, this sign's got a straight bit then facing left, so I'll just repeat that. It's got a straight bit going up and then it goes left. So that means carry on, but come off at the next exit that's available to you on the motorway. So keep going straight, come off at the next exit that's available to come off the motorway. So leave the motorway at the next exit, yes. Turn left immediately, no. Change lanes, no. Move onto the hard shoulder, no. When may you cross a double solid white line in the middle of the road? So again, highlight that. So the double solid white line in the middle of the road, because it's solid, it means you can't cross it. So the question was, when may you cross a double solid white line in the middle of the road? Normally when you're passing, the, the option they give you is passing a cyclist or road maintenance vehicle doing 10 miles an hour or less. They can give you the those two. So a cyclist or a road maintenance vehicle doing 10 miles an hour or less is the only time you can cross a double solid white line in the middle of the road. So to pass a car signaling to turn left ahead, no. To pass traffic that's queuing back at a junction, no. To pass a vehicle that's tying a trailer, no. To pass a road maintenance vehicle which is travelling at 10 miles an hour or less, yes. Which sign means no entry? 
So the sign, the question is which sign means no entry. So again, 95% red circles are no. So we're looking at the red circles, the black and white one we can get rid of because we know that's not a no. That's a national speed limit sign for your information. So no entry. This sign is your waiting restrictions. You can drop off, pick up passengers, but you can't wait for them. This is no stopping at any time. And this sign is no entry. Which sign informs you that you're coming to a no through road? So it's that one. That's the no through road. It means you can drive down there, but you have to turn around to get back to a road to get you out. What does this sign mean? This is similar to what we saw before, arrow facing left, but the other one was straight, then left. This one's facing down to the left, so it's gonna be changed lanes. But be careful of your options they give you. You're looking for the safe option. Some says change lanes immediately. Some say change lanes when it's safe to do so. And obviously the fair test is about the safety factor. So be careful with the options they give you on the real test. Change to the lane on your left. That's a possible. Leave the motorway of the next exit. We know that isn't the right one because we had that previously. Change to the opposite carriageway. No, pull up on the hard shoulder. No. You're driving in busy traffic. So again, the key word there is busy traffic. You've got to ask yourself, ask yourself why they're telling you it's busy. You want to pull up just after a junction on the left. So the junction on your left, when should you signal? But because it's busy and you're pulling up on the junction, after the junction, you want to signal after the junction. So signals either mean you're turning left or right or parking up left or right. In this case, because it's busy, we need to make sure we do it after the junction so we don't let people think we're turning left. So just before you reach the junction, if you do it before, I suggest you're turning left. It would be better not to signal at all. It's busy, so you need to let people know what you're doing. So you do need to signal. As you're passing or just after the junction is the safest one well before you reach the junction. Again, if you do it well before, that suggests you're either parking up before the junction or turning left at the junction. You're in the left-hand lane at traffic lights waiting to turn left, which signal means you must wait. Now, when this comes up in the classroom, everybody picks the wrong answer, they get confused. The easiest way around it is work out which one you can't go on. Because the question, let me just read the question again and break it down. Remember, look for hints and tips. Right, you're in the left-hand lane at traffic lights waiting to turn left, which signal means you must wait. This one has no green in it, so that means everybody, regardless of whether you're going straight, left, right, everybody's got to be waiting, so it's got to be that one. Don't need to look any further. That's the easy way to work it out. What does this sign mean? Again, it's got 30 in a red circle, so that's a order, do not do more than 30. And if you look at the bottom, it says zone ends and the 20s crossed out. So there's your clues on that one. Minimum speed limit, 30 miles an hour. It can't be, because red circles are max. End of 20 speed, the 20s crossed out, zone ends, tallies. No vehicles over 30 tons, no new speed limit, 20 miles an hour. We know that's not the new speed limit. The speed limit is 30 miles an hour, so it's gonna be that one. So there you have it, another category covered in the 30 question mock test. The drive, the traffic and road signs is one of the biggest category. I believe it's got about 133 questions on there. The reason for that, that's the one that you're gonna be using the most, traffic signs, road markings, that type of thing. So that's the one that you're gonna be using the most, hence why it's the biggest category. And you're going to be using that after you pass your theory for your driving lessons and your driving tests. I will say, because I say almost every video now, if you understand the question, understand the answers, you're going to pass that theory test. But the most important thing, if you understand your theory fully, it's going to help you with your driving lessons a lot quicker and it gives you the best possible chance of passing that driving test the first time because your knowledge is going to be strong. If you haven't already, come and join us in our community where you can study with like-minded students in Discord where you can post any questions, post your screenshots of what you're struggling and your mock test results to get help from me and other students. If you got value from this video, like, definitely comment, share it with your friends 
so they have the best possible chance of passing the theory test first time as well. YouTube's gonna show you a video here, I'm gonna show you a video here, go from which, which one's relevant to you, and I shall catch you in the next video.